Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining us on the Football Planet on Africa News. Coming up on the show, Raja of Casablanca wins the 2018 CAF Confederations Cup as they beat AS Vita Club by four goals to three on the aggregate. CAF withdraws hosting rights of the 2019 Africa Cup of Nations from Cameroon. Six months to the competition, we shall be speaking to some Cameroonian journalists to get the popular opinion on the ground. No one to stop the Super Falcons of Nigeria as they got their 11th crown as champions of the Africa Women Cup of Nations with a sweet revenge on South Africa. Gabon's Pierre Aubameyang tops the goal scoring chart in the English top tier as we take a tour of African performances over the weekend in Europe's top five leagues. These and more right ahead. Raja of Casablanca got their first African trophy since 2003, a huge stride in the away leg in Morocco with a 3-0 win. It simply meant that it was pretty difficult for AS Vita Club, who came really close to winning the competition. Let's get the details in the following report. Raja Casablanca of Morocco won the Confederation Cup in Kinshasa on Sunday. The Moroccans went into the march leading 3-0 from the first leg, thus putting an end to 15 years without a continental title. From the start, Raja Casablanca were relentless, but they took the lead through Abdel Hafidi after 21 minutes pushing Vita further behind. Vita had a poor defence which made a way for some exchanges that left Hafidi to put the ball past goalkeeper Nelson Lukong. Mahmoud Ben Halib continued with his bright form as he set up Hafidi as it was sure that Raja would win the cap. Vita leveled up into first half stoppage. But their revival mission dragged along when Mukoko Betazadio netted a goal in the 71st minute to make 2 1. For Jack Casablanca coach Carlos Garrido is now the first manager to win the CAF Confederation Cup with two different clubs after claiming the same trophy with Al Ali of Egypt in 2014. Raja also finished with the competition's top scorer in Mahmoud Ben Halid, who scored 11 times. AS Vita Club got consolation as they got the top scorer of the competition as well in Makusu Mundele, who scored 11 times. Now, just last week, CAF disqualified a second Cameroonian team from playing the 2019 Confederations Cup preliminaries due to late submissions by the Cameroon Football Federation. But things moved from bad to worse for Cameroon when a decision was arrived at to withdraw the hosting rights of the 2019 Africa Cup of Nations. Online, we have Eric Marcian Jomo, the president of the Association of Cameroonian Sports Journalists, is based in Douala. We also do have Dean Mongo, a sports reporter based in Limbe, a city which was supposed to host matches of the 2019 Africa Cup of Nations. And now, let me begin with you, Eric Marcian Jomo. Did this decision by CAF take you by surprise? Uh, no, I would say that it's not a surprise for me. It's not a surprise for many Cameroonians. Uh, it's not a surprise because um, we have noticed that. Uh, uh, works on the various sites were going uh, on very slowly. We have noticed that, that uh, since 2014, that Cameroon was granted the organization of uh, that uh, the, the 2019 African Nations Cup. Um, nothing has really been done until 2017, 2018. Uh, so uh, those uh, high officials of the presidency of the Republic and those uh, of the various ministries in charge of, uh, of uh, putting uh, down uh, those uh, infrastructures has done nothing. And uh, when they decided to do it, um, we, 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 we were just surprised uh, to see that a uh, stadium uh, that cost in another country about uh, uh, 60 billion uh, were costing uh, 200 and uh, more than 200 uh, billion francs CFA here in Cameroon. Uh, so at the end, it seems as if uh, some people were just blocking everything uh, to uh, lick uh, their fingers uh, uh, after. Uh, I hope um, the consequences will be drawn down by the head of state and that uh, those who have caused the humiliation of Cameroon 
we will pay for what uh, they have done to uh, this uh, marvelous country of uh, football. So, uh, to, 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 to summarize, you will notice that uh, nothing can be a surprise after uh, everything has said. All right, Jin Mongo, how did the people of the Southwest region in Cameroon and uh, Limbe in particular, how did they receive the news? Cameroonians based in the Southwest region and Limbe in particular have expressed different sentiment over CAF's decision to strip Cameroon of the white right horse, the 2019 African Cup of Nations. Some hold tenaciously to the cradle that return of peace and stability in the twin Anglophone regions of our country should be the principal priority, and that under the current social political climate, hosting the African Cup of Nations would have been a massive miscalculation. He continued to argue that Cameroon shot itself in the arm soon after securing the white right to host the 2019 African Cup of Nations. As the nation went to bed, forgetting he had an assignment to do, it should be noted that the school of thought also. Uh, of the opinion that planning to fail, planning failing to plan, is planning to fail. However, majority of Cameroonians have bought the argument put forth by the government of Cameroon, especially those in the Southwest region and Limbe in particular. They have anchored their arguments on the premises that the ethical suggestion by the government of Cameroon was a perfect demonstration of Cameroon's commitment to stage the tournament only for competent cardinal light into God's book with. And just as every matter said earlier, this act, sing singular act, is a massive blow, embarrassment and humiliation to the government that has invested heavily, that has invested time and energy to get the job done. To them, Cameroon needed to have been given more time to get its math covered. It should be noted that when Cameroon it secured the B2O, the 2019 African Cup of Nations. It was a 16th informer. The change of formation equally meant that CAF should take majority of the blame. Particularly troubling is the fact that CAF boss Ahmad Ahmad disguises emotions for friendship when he visited Cameroon some months back. Then he talked about no potential plan B. And that any talk of the potential plan B should be kept far at B. Cameroonians feel, especially those in the Southwest region, that this act alone is a mark of dishonesty, backstabbing, and that CAF has become a toothless bulldog. Oh, thanks, gentlemen. It's always a pleasure having you on Football Planet. And on to something else. What will it take to unseat the Super Falcons of Nigeria as champions of Africa? That is a question on every lip. They won the African Women Championship. Everyone is talking about that. But I want you to take a look at these statistics. Scary and unmatched statistics there for the Super Falcons of Nigeria. And now let's remind ourselves, Nigeria, South Africa and Cameroon have all qualified for the Women's World Cup in 2019 in France. And now we begin our European tour in the English Premier League where just one African, Gabonese, Pierre Aubameyang, made all the headlines. The Arsenal man scored twice as his side came from behind to win the London Derby against Tottenham Hotspurs. Now, the Brace leaves the player on top of the goal-scoring table with 10 goals in 14 matches. In the French Ligue 1, Nîmes trashed Amiens by three goals to nothing, and interestingly, all three goals were scored by Africans. First stop, Denis Buanga of Gabon got his fourth of the season to take the advantage at the break. Later, it was Rashid Aloui of Morocco who scored the two other goals in that encounter. Toulouse and Dijon separated on a two-all draw. Nayef Agade, the Moroccan, and Abed Mehdi of Algeria got the two goals for the visitors, while Ivory Coast Max Gradel scored his fifth of the season at the 72nd minute to level things up. Senegal's Ismail Assa also got his fifth of the season, but was not good enough to secure points for his side rents as they lost by one goal to two to visiting Strasbourg FC.
In Italy, Ivorian Frank Kessi got the winner for AC Milan against uh, visiting Parma. Torino beat Genoa by two goals to one, as another Ivorian, Kwame Christian, scored the lone goal for Genoa with his third of the season. In the German Bundesliga, Hoffenheim and Schalke 04 shared the spoils, as Algeria's Nabil Ben Taleb got the equalizer with his third goal of the season from 12 yards. No African on the score sheet in the Spanish La Liga this weekend. And with that, we conclude today's show. Visit our website on www.africanews.com. For your comments and suggestions, uh, kindly reach us on the address on your screen. Have an excellent week. Kwahiri.